Imposter syndrome, the silent underminer of success. It affects even the most accomplished, causing feelings of inadequacy despite evidence of competence. Picture a room filled with high achievers, their minds riddled with doubt. This guide unravels the imposter syndrome enigma, offering insight into its origins and psychological mechanisms. And more importantly, it equips you to conquer it. Remember that imposter syndrome isn't a sign of weakness, but a symptom of high achievers. And with tools to unlock self-compassion, acknowledge accomplishments, and cultivate a growth mindset, this journey will illuminate the path to your true potential. So let's begin with acknowledging your achievements. It is crucial to take stock of your accomplishments, both big and small. Create a portfolio or a journal where you document your achievements. Reviewing this repository can serve as a powerful reminder of your capabilities. Celebrate your successes as milestones on your journey and recognize that your achievements are a testament to your skills, effort and dedication. And whenever self-doubt creeps in, revisit this record to affirm your competence and remind yourself of how far you've come. Next up, try to adopt a growth mindset because this is a key tool for combating the imposter syndrome. It's the belief that abilities can be developed through dedication and hard work. Embrace the understanding that mistakes and challenges are part of the learning process. And when you encounter setbacks, view them as opportunities for growth instead of seeing them as things that hinder your success. And try instead of seeing failure as evidence of your incompetence or inadequacy, see it as a stepping stone on your journey to success. By shifting your perspective and emphasizing the process of learning and improvement, you can build resilience against self-doubt. Another thing you should probably do is seek support. Because if you're trying to deal with imposter syndrome on your own, sometimes it could be challenging. Especially if that inner voice of yours is too powerful. So seek support from friends, maybe mentors or colleagues, people who can provide encouragement and offer a fresh perspective. Sharing your feelings of self-doubt with trusted individuals can help you gain valuable insights and emotional support. Also, don't hesitate to lean on your support network when imposter syndrome rears its head. You could, for example, discuss your concerns with a trusted confidant or a professional, sometimes, who can offer guidance and help you regain your confidence. Sometimes an external perspective can illuminate your achievements and strengths, allowing you to confront self-doubt more effectively. The other thing you should definitely, definitely do is you should challenge the negative self-talk because you can think of this as the fuel of the imposter syndrome and to combat it start by, by recognizing and challenging these self-deprecating thoughts when you catch yourself thinking that you're not good enough or that your accomplishments are flukes pause and investigate the evidence behind these beliefs are these thoughts rooted in reality or are they irrational fears by critically evaluating these negative beliefs, you can begin to dismantle the foundations of imposter syndrome. Replace self-criticism with self-compassion. Treat yourself with the same kindness and understanding you would offer a friend who's facing similar doubts and problems. And the last tip that I will give you in today's episode is you should try to learn from failure. By now, you should know that failure is not a confirmation of your inadequacy or incompetence, but an integral part of your growth and success. Embrace the idea that making mistakes is natural and challenges are opportunities for learning and improvement. When you encounter a setback or a failure, use it as a chance to assess what went wrong and how you can do better next time. By shifting your perspective to see failure as a valuable learning experience, you can reduce the negative impact of imposter syndrome. Instead of undermining your self-worth, mistakes can become stepping stones on your path to greater success. And guys, I know imposter syndrome is a common challenge, but it's one that can be overcome with the right strategies and mindset. By acknowledging your achievements, adopting a growth mindset, seeking support, challenging negative self-talk, and of course, learning from your past mistakes and failures, you can build self-confidence and thrive in your personal and professional life. Remember that self-doubt is a common experience, and with perseverance and self-compassion, 
you can transform it into self-assurance and reach your full potential. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I hope it helped you a lot. I hope you learned something new. Leave a like and subscribe if you did. And I'll see you in tomorrow's episode. Bye.